Hi guys, welcome to channel. Today we will take another topic related to profitability analysis and particularly this one is known as your attribute, attributed profitability segment. So it is there under your margin analysis, one of the feature. And uh, l let me explain when you can use this particular feature and what are the benefits we are going to have if you are going to use this one. And this can be one of the interview questions related to your COPA or margin analysis. This one is only available on your margin analysis, which is introduced from 2020 onwards. And uh, some companies, they are using that one. So uh, the scenario is whenever you are going to post any cost uh, initially with, let's say, internal order or cost center. So initially when we are recording the cost, so that time our cost object, let's say we are using internal order, right? So maybe for in the beginning, some uh, huge expenditure we have on different uh, area maybe related to advertisement um, but at this moment we don't know like where we are going to spend this cost on what are the different profitability segment we are going to use for uh, allocation purpose or let's say a cost center we are going to use so that time our profitability segment we don't have so that's why what we are doing initially we are going to record the cost with that particular cost object then in period end maybe in quarterly uh, quarter end or in month end we are going to do the allocation so for that allocation maybe you can use order settlement or you can use the assessment like your uh, cost center this is an old concept it was there in our costing based copa this is also there in our uh, account based copa and it is there in the margin analysis but let's say initially when i'm recording the cost with internal order at that moment if you'll check the document or you will check your report you will not find anything in the copa so let's say in the month end we are going to do the allocation or let's say uh, after two months or in quarter end we are going to do the allocation that time it is going to reflect in the copa in that period we don't have any information because we have selected here the real cost object as internal order or the cost center so we have to wait to get the information in your copa report we have to wait till the month end when once the month end settlement will be there then only it is going to reflect now business if they want like in this period also they can see that how much cost it will be there in the respective profitability segment okay so uh, in that case this attributed profitability segment can be used your main cost object will be the same in order or cost center whatever but simultaneously automatically system user will not do anything system automatically add the values in the respective uh, profitability uh, segment but here some restrictions are there for example, let's say you are going to allocate the cost in the month end, like 20% cost I will add to profitability segment, 25% cost I will add to profitability segment, 30% cost I will add to profitability segment, three. So that means three, four profitability segment we have and we want to do the allocation. Then in that case, this concept is not possible. Or let's say in the beginning, you are recording the cost. In, uh, in the beginning, let's say I will record the cost with some internal order one, internal order two, cost center one. Like this, I am going to record the cost with multiple cost object. In that case, it is not going to applicable. So first of all, attribute profitability segment is applicable when we are going to record the cost with another cost object. And as a statistical information, we can see the respective profitability segment. But here again, restriction. If you are going to transfer 100% cost to a particular profitability segment, then it is going to work. So if you are going to do split the cost into multiple cost centers or multiple orders or multiple other cost objects, this one is not applicable. So this one we have to keep in mind. And it is also going to work on only on actual data. On plan data, it is not going to work. Okay, so let's see this one in the system. So I'm going to record this cost with uh, two primary cost elements. So one primary cost element, I will take here the GL account 3017. And this is my Google paid advertisement expenditure 3018 SEO advertisement expenditure. So this one I'm going to record with internal order. In my example, I'm taking internal order. You may use cost center. It is absolutely fine. So when I will record this cost, obviously we are going to have the cost object will be cryptic because the finance document will be the primary document. And normally we will see the document or the report or the information in our internal order. Up to this, this is how maybe you are familiar with this one. Now, this information also we can see in our AC doc. A. In AC doc, a, if you'll see, you will find that the normal information like your internal order will be there. Plus, along with that, the respective profitability segment, whatever I have activated, that one is also going to reflect. Okay, so let's check this one. I'm going to record this cost with my default ledger, that is leading ledger. And here I'm going to take that GL accounts for the recording of the cost. So GL account as uh, in Excel, it is 3017, 3018, 
3017 debit take some amount let's say it is 150 and what the cost object i am going to take here the cost object will be a real cost object not the profitability segment because at this moment i don't know the profitability segment so let's say i will use here the intern order you can take also default account assignment you can configure i will take this intern order right so initially we have recorded this cost so let's take this one as 80 this one also i'm going to record with the same intern order because 100% cost we need to transfer to a particular cost object then it is going to work so take some credit account payable pay bank anything you can take here and let's record the cost so document post it now let's take this particular document in this document as usual you will find right so this is a document and in this you can see the cost object is updated as the internal order whatever i have used here right now if we will check this document and if we'll see here copa point of view nothing is updated in a normal document if we will see but you will find the information in the ac docket table right so it's profitability segment is updated okay so let's check the ac docket table so i'm using a company code y400 and let's take the document number so this is my document number right just have a look into this document you will find that document uh, the co document you can find it's cryptic because the data is coming from other module right so we will check this document run it so i got this uh, update now let's take uh, a, how you will identify whether it is properly updated it's a real cost object updated or not right so in different way we can check so one let's take this line okay so in this line the normal cost object will be there that is our internal order and uh, secondly we will see also the profitability segment is updated or not so let me uh, i will let me show you first the technical name then after that we will see it from the functional point of view so i am going to check here in the field p a o p j n r now this is the document generated document number 109 so this document is a statistical information so the document is updated so you can see profitability segment number updated 109 and is this an actual document no it is not actual document so this is not a real profitability segment updated so if you'll check the k24 you will not get the information but statistically the information is updated in the respective profitability segment but because you can see here the information is available and uh, another thing if you'll check here you will find the object class is over it object class is not profitability segment normally if it is a proper profitability segment document then you will find here the object class should be COBA document or profitability segment document but in this case it is over it so that means the actual profitability segment is not updated right or you can't say that in this case profitability segment is not the real one but i can see the profitability segment is there now let's see whether my profitability segments are updated or not so uh, just for your information i have uh, added here the profitability segment uh, customer i have added i have added the product and i have added the profit center so let's see in these lines the profitability segments are updated or not so one option internal order 100% will be there because it was posted with internal order so profit center i can see it is there then product also i have updated product is 207 that must be there in the line items customer is also updated in both the line items so 57 customer at the time of posting i never updated this customer so that one is there and uh, i'm looking that product material number so you can see the product sold this is also one of my profitability segment so all the informations are there as if we have recorded the cost with the profitability segment but it is not your actual profitability segment because object class object class still it is profitability uh, object class is uh, with your uh, uh, it is over it okay now assume that it's month end and we are going to allocate the cost so when we will run the ko double eight then you will find the actual profitability segment and it is also going to reflect in your k24 and you will also that that settled document you will find or the reconciliation document will be there in the profitable se docket table but that will be a actual profitability segment so that also we are going to verify so let me run this cost or uh, sorry let me settle this cost which is recorded with internal order and uh, that cost i am going to settle so it's a normal order settlement so go to ko8 
and we will settle the cost. So settlement period will be eight. Uh, I'm using for your reference April to March. So eight is my November period and we are going to run it. So do you have any error? No, we don't have any error. Now sender is your uh, internal order because initially the cost was recorded with internal order and uh, sender is my all the initial cost element or the GL accounts primary cost element and I'm trying to settle the cost with my receiving cost element that is my settled cost element. So as per my Excel the data is perfect so initially I have recorded the cost here and now I am settling the cost to the respective uh, GL account or the cost object. Right so everything is fine let me execute it. And for this, what is the prerequisite? The prerequisite should be the complete margin analysis configuration should be there. Intern order, of course, it has to be there with all the month end configurations like your order allocations, structure, settlement. The complete other configuration should be there and uh, then only it is going to work. So it is part of or it is feature of margin analysis. So let's run it. Okay, so it's executed. Now we should have one more document with reference to the settlement so we got this accounting document this is basically a reconciliation document when the data is coming from co2 fi and if we'll check this document this document should be with actual profitability segment so it should be updated with the actual profitability segment particularly this line so this is your cost where we transfer and uh, the sender is your order and the respective receivers should be there so this is your sender and this is your cost where we are transferring the cost so let's check this document. Now in these two documents, the last two documents, so there is, you can see, both are your business transaction, KOAO is there. And this document is generated with reference to our settlement document. So where we transferred our cost to order to cost object. And in this case, we will see the cost object. Okay, and this should be your actual cost object, that is your profitability segment. So we need to check the plus line, because one is the sender line, that is the minus line, and one is the plus line. Okay, so this two, 30 plus this line should be your actual profitability segment so let's first check the technicality and you can see here it's x symbol is there that means it is the actual profitability segment and what is the object class profitability analysis what was the object class for the last document it was over it so when your actual cost object is real object i mean actual cost object something else like my previous example it was internal order so object class was over it when right now in this document the cost is settled and the cost transferred to the actual profitability segment so in this case it is your object class is your profitability analysis now what is the benefit if you are going to use this particular feature benefit is we no, no need to wait for month end that to see actually where the cost is going to reflect if you are going to settle this cost so in this period we can have the information like i have shown you that cost is Settle means it will be to be settled in the respective cost object or respective profitability segment like the product, the customer and whatever the profitability segment you have. What are the characteristics you have activated there? Okay, now let's check the K24 line that is your COPA line items. We will see whether this 230 is updated there or not. So you need to specify your operating concern and uh, this is margin analysis, company quote. Okay, so this is my document. So let me sort with the date. Yeah, so it is there. So this settled cost element is updated to 5007 and 230 amount is my updated as my object currency. And if you we'll check here the characteristics so your actual characteristics. Last time in the statistical document also we have seen the customer as one of our characteristics, the product as one of our characteristics and rest of whatever we have configured. So this is one very good feature. Companies are using this one and interview sometimes maybe you will get these questions under your uh, margin analysis. Thank you very much for watching this particular video. So we will meet another video very soon. Thank you.